Yo guys, I'm HB, this is Dr. Pink, and today's topic is, I would call the Uber, Uber Blues Rock Reef I just created. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HB Crazy Guitar Academy. So what is this thing sounding like? i show you, it's really a Check out some soloing over this thing here. This thing is really fun. <laughs> I call it so. It's a. I would consider this a new song. I call it Soiling Green. That's why I have green here. Check the movie. <laughs> Yo, it's really a very cool uber blues rock riff. So, how does it work? Um, the main thing. Well, you can play with normal tune guitar, but I really love, love, love. A drop D tuning. It's only one chord. Well, we're going to figure out what we can do with this one chord to create this really intense um, vibe, this uber blues rock vibe. And first thing is just how do you get this really like this? This bum 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 bum. That's the main thing of all. It seems to be easy. Just play a damped drop D. D5 chord, which is just, you don't need to grab anything. And it has to be really staccato and in sync with the drum. And to, let's say, <coughs> Loosen it <coughs> a little bit up. In between, you release the, the palm mute position. You have one and two and three and four. I would really love to do this little rotation on four as a one and two and three. And Yo, now let's get to the close view. Yo, now let's check the different elements which are available, but if, I mean, you can mix them up and it's a way of creating really great rock riffs and they really contain the main features which any rock riff has. So the main thing, one thing is of course this, this really one grooving and pumping thing which keeps the track going on. But to make your guitar sound more interesting, of course you need to add some features and then we let's check those out now. So I already said the one with four end. Then you can add a single note line. In 60 notes and in drop D you play 3, 5. And I love to use open strings so you can 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 0, 3, 0, 5. So if you do this one here. 
you start on count three. So one and two and three and four. One and two. Because you're coming out exactly on one. That's the main thing. If you do these fill-ins, you, you have to place them somewhere that you come out perfect on beat one. In this case, I came in on count three and playing two 16-note runs. <laughs> The main thing is if you want to improvise this stuff, you need, need to get a feeling where to put the, the riffs and where you come out really smoothly. <laughs> One, two. One, two. And then you go direct back to the main riff. One, two. <laughs> now instead of doing the accent here just on the D5, I'm adding the upper part of the D5 again on four end. One and two and three and four. And maybe to make it more intense second time you add a second one on two on one and so one and two and three and four and two and three and four and so you add a second one to push him more or you can instead of doing it in one chord you make a little chord movement again with four and in this and in this case, we have a second chord, uh, one on one end, and then you already s start to sound really great. One, two. Now I made a second little fill-in and this came on on three and so one, two, three. Then you just make three, zero, three, five, three, five as hammer. And then pull off three, zero and then it's finished. So one, two, three. This goes like this, one, two, three. See when you do this stuff really smooth and, and straight ahead, then you're gonna sound really, really tight and precise, and that's what makes the magic of rock guitar if it has to be really tight and precise. And you <laughs> let's add another type of um, fill in. I, li I like this one here. We're playing a little arpeggio, so... We're again, we're coming on three, and you have two 60-note blocks. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And <coughs> I'm playing a D minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. And this way, we were setting the course for a different mode before the, the mode was not really defined because this is just D5, it could be any mode, but now with this here, this could be Phrygian or altered. And that's basically what I what you can do on the soling altered, but we're gonna check two different possibilities to make it sound really wild. Okay, now let's put this a little bit together and switch on the delay. I'm adding here an analog delay to give this a retro type sound. Yo.
see how the thing starts to work and it's really cool and it's really important that you figure out a few little figures which work up perfectly and then you start to build it up now we're adding d5 up here and here to spice it up a little bit Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? It's really um, easy to grab all this stuff, but to play it really precise and in a compact form, you better figure out a few figures and then it's gonna sound quite cool. Now on the soloing, uh, before I was playing um, Frugin Natural 3, who probably works good here, also the altered mode. Um, if you want to have this really crazy sounding soloing and you know this <coughs> out type of soloing the more common one is Frugin Natural 3 so you can uh, you can take the D minor pentatonics and build it around this so you have this here here that will be freaking natural to you and if you want to highlight the freaking natural three sound you work around here because this big, this big uh, interval uh, step here, this defines the freaking natural three uh, mode. So let's see how that works. Works really good here. I selected the more white sound now, but to show you, I mean, I was just basically playing the Friggin' Natural 3 scale in <laughs> just in 60 notes. That works, or if you want to make it really <laughs> fast and wild, you can. I love this. One. This one works really easy. It sounds wild, but it's quite easy to play. It sounds way wilder than it is. This you make this. And then and then you go up here and come back. So you speed up here. That will be a really cool thing to add here on the soloing. Maybe give you 
Just don't be afraid to uh, play fast on this one here. Honestly, I don't even know what time time it was played. I think it's uh, 32 notes. But the thing is, it's the fingering is really easy, so you can really try <laughs> to speed it up. Yo, guys, these were a few ideas of this Uber, 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 blues rock uh, riff or blues oak ideas a little bit out of the box maybe but we cannot always talk about sweet home alabama you know guys sometimes you need to have some fun and um, i had some fun showing you this really cool riff i hope you enjoy it too if you want to download this cool backing track i created it's really awesome with this boom boom bass it's available in the hp crazy guitar <coughs> Me plus some plus some tabs of the stuff I just showed you. If you need more um, guidance on this one here, yo. Me and Dr. Pink are saying goodbye.